Hey y'all, I'm James Wright, and welcome to Colonial Williamsburg. Welcome to Colonial Williamsburg. Yeah, uh, this is one of those fun places you just have to go to. It is, uh, it, it, it's just a time capsule. It takes you back to the past, so you can actually go and experience things as they were done in the 1700s. It is absolutely incredible and they have all of the trades from woodworking to blacksmithing to tin smithing to gardening and everything in between and you get to actually experience it live so they had uh, music and other things going on the day we went was was really quiet it was a monday there wasn't much going on it was in the middle of covid uh, so there wasn't a lot a lot of the things were closed but uh, that there was still a, a decent amount to do it was fun to actually go and see a lot of the construction and the materials and everything that went into this it is just unbelievable. But of course, there's the cabinet shop. This is the Hay Cabinet Shop in Colonial Williamsburg, and it is basically the center of all historical hand tool woodworking. Uh, and they do a lot of experimentation and study into how is it actually done. And this is the building. So we're going to go inside and take a look at it today. This is... Um, kind of exciting. I've been here several times before, but never actually had the chance to go inside. Oh, and don't forget the wood pile. They had a, a ton of, of material to work with that was just gorgeous. So it was fun to actually see some of the projects that they're working on and studying. How were these made? How did they go together? What were the, the steps involved in it? Um, some of them, they're making pieces for the other buildings on town so, and so that they can have historical pieces to match. One of the interesting things for me is actually going and seeing how all the tools were stored and how everything was was used because uh, they they did a lot that is just you don't think about it tools hanging on the wall you think about tools in the bench but a lot of things you would expect to be in a toolbox they actually had on the wall and in shelves and to see how a shop that is actually functional this isn't just a something you you go and look at through a window this is in use they are making things there are, there are five uh, five woodworkers who work in this, and one of them is actually making historical reprodu reproductions of harpsichords. I know, it's kind of fascinating to see that, that they actually make that. But most of the things that they're making are reproductions that will be used other places in Colonial Williamsburg. And of course, what do you do with the shavings and other scraps? You burn them. <laughs> so, yeah, if you ever get the chance to stop by Colonial Williamsburg, this is, is well, well worth it. Not just this, but everything else in Colonial Williamsburg. And, yeah, um, just jaw-dropping, happy, fun time. Check out that mahogany in the back. Look at those boards. That is a sweet, sweet wood pile. So, yeah, we're going to go and take a look at the rest of Williamsburg, but that was the cabinet shop. Now, yes, this is the cabinet shop in the Colonial Williamsburg. And uh, I actually go inside and do a tour and talk through a bunch of things and actually talk to the guys inside. If you'd like to see that, hop over to the second channel. I have a whole second channel called Wood by Right How To, and on there, we talk through a bunch of things and do the how to. So if you wanna see the interviews and the actual discussions inside, hop on over to the other channel. I'll leave a link to that down below. The rest of Williamsburg is honestly just as in interesting. It is really, really cool to see how everything worked together, how different trades worked together and, and worked. Uh, and this was an off day, so there wasn't a whole lot going on, and I would love to come back on a weekend. This is the tin shop where they were doing the, the, the tin reproductions and actually making some of that. The blacksmith shop was incredible and huge and was a, a fantastic place to learn. They had the, the bakery and the kitchens that were making food that uh, uh, was, yeah, I, I would love to try some of that. Uh, the, outdoor, uh, the outdoor kitchen where you could cook on that, that was fantastic. Uh, we went around back to the blacksmith. Check out the bellows on there. Uh, all of this uh, historical reproductions and they're actually making things for the rest of Colonial Williamsburg. So they need a hinge, the black shop makes it out. You need it in ads, they make it out. Uh, all of these other things, this, this lock was absolutely incredible seeing how all of these pieces were made in the shop and all of them come together and seeing these reproductions of antiques and learning about how it was done. This is actually the, uh, the leather shop and he was talking about how it was owned by the government and run by the government and su supplied by the government. And I thought that was kind of a um, you know, almost a communist thing, um, but a lot of it was. It was interesting to, to actually go and, and learn about the history and the background to it. This is the wheelwright shop, and they were making 
um, carriages. And this was, I would love to have seen this in work. It wasn't there. The coal, of course, for the blacksmith shop. Um, keep off the coal. I had to tell the kids to keep off the coal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but there, there's so much more to this. It was a, a huge place, and its entire town focused on this. Uh, some of the, uh, the the flowers and gardens were interesting to see some of the historical flowers because we have changed them so much over the years. It was nice to see what are the, the what did they look like back 700 years ago. Uh, and then check that out with the, the door closer. Uh, just interesting things like this. All of the gates had uh, these weights on them to pull the gate closed so that animals didn't get out. Uh, interesting little designs like that you never would have thought about. And it was just beautiful to walk around and see everything. Here we're back over at the carpenter's shop where they were doing bricks and other things like that. And of course we have cedar shakes. Uh, they weren't actually making the cedar shakes because it was off day. There was only uh, a couple guys there working on it. But it was interesting to talk to the kids and say, what are these? And the kids had to think through it and figure out how they were used and what does that actually mean and how did they come about? But can you imagine making all those shakes? And you need far more than that for a full building. Uh, it's one of those things that you just almost always had someone making shakes in a, in a place like this. One of the things they were actually looking at was how was the historical method of, of putting a dormer on? How was this done? Uh, and so they have this mock-up where they're making a dormer and roof and figuring out the methodologies, and they came up with a couple different things on that. Fascinating to see that. But then this is the, the rest of the shop where uh, kind of the timber framing would be done. He was actually working on a set of stairs that day, but over in the far corner is the pit. And this is, this is I, I want to do this one of these days. Uh, I would love to have gone and gotten closer to it, but I didn't have a contact to actually go in and look into the pit. But imagine one person standing on top of that beam with a saw, and another person down in the pit below running the saw. So one guy standing up high, one guy down below getting all the dust on, but the guy up top has to pull this saw up. And there is the pit saw. A massive beast. That would be uh, an incredible torture, but uh, it would be fascinating to see. So I wish I could have been there in a day it was running, but uh, I'll have to go back again. And we will be back in the future. Um, so if you're ever near Colonial's Williamsburg, Colonial Williamsburg, swing on by. And all of the, the trees, there were some really beautiful um, oaks and uh, live oaks. Uh, the grounds to the, the governor's mansion, uh, just absolutely beautiful and a lot of fun, if you can't tell that. And we actually did have an interesting time in the garden because, you know, how do you keep rabbits out when you don't have um, chicken wire and they actually had all these little glass planters that they would put over them at night and then uncover them in the day when they're working at it. Um, kind of interesting. And of course poppies because you need poppies. <laughs> yes. Uh, fascinating all around and well worth the trip and well worth the, the fun to go learn. So if you're nearby, definitely swing into Colonial Williamsburg. It is three or four days worth of pure fun. So there you have it, Williamsburg. Oh, I, I, I really wish I had more time. We only had a morning and we had to catch a flight back that day. So it was, it was really kind of short and I would like to go there when a lot of other things are open. It is a, a phenomenal place to go. Now, if you want to see more inside the Kemet shop, I did a couple interviews and videos with the guys working there and that was, uh, yeah, absolutely amazing. If you want to see that, go over to the second channel, Wood by Right How To. I'll leave a link to that down below. And there we, we talk a lot more about some of the projects they're working on and what is actually going on in the shop. If you've ever thought about swinging by Colonial Williamsburg, it is a most definite. It is well worth it and it's a fun time for everyone. The kids got to experience a lot of things and it's interesting to actually see how it all works out. It's a, a phenomenal way of looking at a whole community rather than just a particular skill or discipline. So I hope you like this. Uh, it was a little bit different. We'll get back to woodworking next week. Um, but if you do want to see more, go ahead and go to the second channel, Wood by Right How To. I do want to say thank you to everyone who clicked the like, share, and subscribe down there. Thank you for helping keeping videos going. Also, I want to say a big thank you to everyone scrolling over the side. They are patrons on Patreon, as well as members who've clicked the join button down below. So thank you. Without members and patrons, this channel wouldn't exist. If you'd like to find out more about that, link's down in the doobly-doo, and I think that'll do it for now. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Now, I gotta go buy me one of those shirts with the puffy sleeves. This is a must. <laughs>